Hi you two. Today is the 20th of July uh, 2019, so it's the 50th anniversary of uh, the Apollo 11 landing on the moon, the first moon landing. So it's a significant milestone and I have a, a story to tell about that. The, in 1969 I watched the event uh, and I got the permission to stay up uh, later than nine o'clock at night to watch the event and that was very exciting to me and that inspired my career in fact. So uh, fast forward a few years later I'm uh, working in the space industry for Spire Aerospace in Canada and uh, it's 1987. I'm about to start working on the Canadarm, on designing part of the Canadarm 2 for the International Space Station. And I order um, a report that talks about the lunar module. The lunar module um, as designed by Grumman. Uh, so that report looks like this. That's the, uh, that's the front page of the report. Um, and the number of the report is SP4205, Chariots for Apollo, History of Man Lunar Spacecraft. I thought it was fascinating to read. And then towards the end of this report, it says that, you know, in the Grumman graveyard are parts of the lunar module design that have been just discarded. And so I decided to write to Grumman uh, ask them uh, with my uh, general interest in, in Apollo if there was something that they could send me and I um, I suggested if there are no parts left this, this is 1987 uh, maybe a, a blueprint of the overall lunar module would be quite exciting so I write to the historian here's my uh, the draft of my letter and uh, this is dated uh, June 8th 1987 I send this to Grumman and then um, I move, change address. So um, I did receive afterward a notification that a package coming from Bethpage, New York had been returned. So I was uh, very uh, disappointed about that and so I quickly wrote another letter to Grumman uh, and this is a, a copy of it. Uh, saying, you know, I moved, uh, also there was a postal office strike, and so if you could resend this package to my new address, here's the new address and so on. So they were very nice to me, they resent the package, and that package contained a blueprint of the lunar uh, Apollo module that was taken directly from the originals. And uh, that's the letter I got back from the historian of uh, Northrop Grumman, very nice person, uh, that sent me that drawing. So here's the drawing. It's a reduced version of, uh, of the overall drawing, but this is an actual blueprint. This is directly from the original so it's faded with time. This is in 1987. It's faded with time, but this is a very nice uh, overall view of uh, the lunar module. I thought it was very, very exciting. So I kept it in an envelope uh, away from light uh, all these years. So that was in 1987. Um, and Fast forward to 1998, I'm going to a conference. And that conference is called Space Frontier Conference uh, number seven in Los Angeles, California, October 10th, uh, 1998, or that, uh, during that time. Uh, so I decided to go there. I knew that there would be a uh, CERNAN, a Paul astronaut there, uh, and John Young was supposed to be there. So I was very excited. I go to the conference and I'm uh, sitting in one of the last rows in the back in one of the first presentations and I'm sitting behind this man that has a very interesting watch. So I start, you know, doodling this watch on, on a piece of paper and then I just go forward a little bit more and I realize this is Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin is sitting right in front of me. It's the first time I meet I'm so close to an Apollo astronaut. 
He's sitting right in front of me. Uh, so I go, I'm very excited. So I had brought down my um, drawing here, my blueprint, my original blueprint, so that I could have it maybe autographed by one of the uh, Apollo astronauts there. In the end, John Young didn't show up. Uh, Story Musgrave came uh, in the conference uh, give, to give a talk. Um, but with Buzz Aldrin there, I said, this is the person that I would like to have the autograph from on my blueprint. And so I tried a couple of times and he pushed it off a little bit, uh, saying that he was very busy and he didn't have time and so on. But at the last day, last hour of that conference, I saw him walking by himself uh, between two rooms. And so uh, I went beside him. I had the drawing with me and I told him, you know, this is... Uh, you've been the inspiration for me for the last 30 years. You know, could you please, would you please uh, sign my original uh, blueprint of the Apollo module? So he turned around and looked at me with his blue eyes, and I, I was just on cloud nine, and the, he, so he, he autographed this uh, drawing. So here's the autograph of Buzz on my... Uh, Apollo module blueprint. So I was very, very excited. I think I wasn't touching the ground for a few minutes there. And uh, I've been uh, treasuring this since. So that's my story about uh, the Apollo lunar module blueprint and, and the Buzz Aldrin um, Association. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.